One, two, make a circle. Three, four, a big circle like a safari. How are you, great tools? It's a teacher on theater. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. We have covered numbers. We did the place values. We did the, the patterns. And here we are with what we call fractions. Teacher, you didn't tell us to bring fruits. Tomorrow you will bring during the next lesson. So that after the practical, what do we do? We eat the fruits. Yeah. Very nice. Now, what is a fraction? If someone enters this class and asks you, what can you see on the table? Teacher, we have different fruits and a toy. Very good. We have, what is this? This is a tomato. What about this one? Janet, an apple. What about this one? An orange. And this one is a puzzle. Very good. Now, when you look at those four things, which ones are full? Which ones are whole? They don't miss anything. Teacher, the tomato is full. The apple is full. The orange is full. But the puzzle is missing some parts. Very good. You have realized that the puzzle is missing, is missing some part. The orange is full. The apple is full. And the tomato is full. So, what, how do we call something that do not have any missing parts? Like this tomato, like this apple, like this orange. It doesn't have any missing part. How do we call it? We call them a whole. We call them a whole. And what does the word whole mean? It is a whole. Why? Why do we call them a whole? A whole is a complete object. A whole is a complete object. A whole is a complete object, meaning it does not have a missing part. Can I say this puzzle is a whole? Yes, no. No, why? It has some missing parts. Are you seeing the missing parts are here? It's until I put the missing parts that's when it becomes a whole. But as for now, it is not a whole. So it is not a complete thing. Can I say this orange is a whole? Yes. Why? It does not have any missing part, you can see. Can I say this apple is a whole? Yes. Why? It does not have any missing part. What about this tomato? It's a whole. Why? It is a complete object. So today we just want to do a whole of a circle. And when we were in the field, we did a very big circle. Did we have any part missing on that circle? No. It was a complete big circle. And how do you make a circle? Of course, for you to come up with a, sh a shape of a circle, you must have something circular that will help you draw that shape. And for me, I have my circular object here. So can you divide yourselves into groups of three? Yes. So what we are going to do is I will take this. You will take your circular object. Place it on your, place it on your paper. Then you draw. You place it on your paper. Then you do what? You draw. After you've drawn, you must be able to cut out the shape. You must be able to cut out the shape. And what, what are we using for cutting the shapes? We are using the scissors to cut the shapes. So we are saying we are going to take our circular shape like this. Then we make a circular trace around it nicely. Trace around it nicely, 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 nicely. If you don't do it now, you'll not have something to use during the next lesson because this is the same, same things we're going to use during the, the next lesson. Wow. 
So let's see, let's see, let's see what will happen. So I have just my circular shapes. Now I want to cut them nicely. And you'll tell me what shapes will I have made. So make sure you cut along the line nicely. No dents. Nicely. And remember, scissors are sharp objects. So you make sure you handle them with care. Not forgetting you are with your friends on the tables. You are sharing tables with your friends. Don't play with scissors. It is a sharp object. So I will cut nicely around my circle. Very good. Have you seen my circles? Have you seen them nicely? Have you seen them? Here they are. So, which shapes are these? Which shapes are these? Teacher, that is a circle. Name for me things that are circular in our class. The circular things in our class. Teacher, those rings, very good. Are you seeing this? It's circular in shape. What about this masking tape? Very good. Circular in shape. What about the balls? Circular in shape. What about the these containers? They're also circular in shape. So we are saying that is how a circle looks like. Does a circle have any side? No. Which lines are used to make a circle? Which lines are used to make a circle? There are the oval, the curved lines that are used to make a circle. We talked about circles and we said circles are made using oval lines like here. How many sides does a circle have? A circle only has one side. It doesn't have two or three. Are we together? Those are circles. We have made circles. Who has not finished coloring? Cutting the circles? You want the cutouts? Who has not finished cutting them? I have made my circular cutouts. I have made my circular cutouts. And you say circles are shapes. And we have things in our environment which are circular in shape. For example, we have the wheels. Do you remember? The wheels of a van goes round and round, round and round. Those are some of the circular things in the environment. Look at the wheels of a car there. They are also circular. Are we together? Are we together? Are you able to see the circular wheels? Look at the eyes of the Mr. Diamond. They are also circular. So we are saying the circular parts we have made are here. So in the next lesson, we want to find out what if a part of that circle is taken away? What if I decide to take a part of the circle? Or what if I divide my circle? What will I come up with? That is what we're going to do in the next lesson. Are we together? So make sure each group keeps its circular cut out very well. So that in the next lesson, we are able to find out what if a part of this circle is removed? What if I decide to cut this orange into two equal parts? What will I come up with? What will I make? So during your own free time at home, go and make as many circular cutouts as possible so that when tomorrow when people will be exploring the different direction they are going to cut their circulars you will have so many of them to cut okay is that okay class so what have we learned today today you've just learned a hole and you have said what is a hole a hole is a complete object something that is full does not have any part missing and that was nice having you around i hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.